okay now guys this is cassava today I'm going to show you how to prepare three different types of cassava okay uh, let me not say three different types of cassava three different recipes of cassava this is rinse chop in rinse kitchen as always a rinse production so one we're going to prepare the cassava in uh, coconut milk that can be eaten as a breakfast you can take it as food accompanied by maybe beef or anything else that you would like or, uh, as breakfast with tea then I am going to show you how to prepare uh, in Mombasa they are locally known as miogo yakukarango so I'm going to deep fry them the big chunks that you get uh, in the beach so you can have them as a snack also you can still have them as breakfast and still you can have them as a meal and then finally I'm going to prepare cassava crisps locally known as kachiri if you've had that famous song kachiri kachiri that is what we're going to prepare today they are good for your kids they are good for you they keep you busy when you're at home and your kids are up and jumpy and everything you can just prepare them and give them to eat it's very cheap very simple very easy as you can see my table i only have a few ingredients the coconut milk this is masala chili masala this is salt and then i have some roiko and food color just that and you have your three different types of cassava meals karibuni first of all i'm going to remove the part that i don't need Let's see how easy it is in my motherland we make flour from cassava that is a story for another day and there we have it so i'll clean it this dark color is normally brought about if the cassava is not directly from the farm so it is advisable if you're close to the closer to the farms it is advisable to prepare your cassava as fresh as possible if it stays it discolors but that does not mean it cannot be consumed so i'll cut my cassava into a number of portions one that i'm going to fry the other that i'm going to make crepes with and the other that i'm going to prepare in coconut milk so once you've cut them into your desirable pieces clean them again put them in your pan we will use the two we this is the second one the lighter one this is what we we'll use to let it boil and then the other one we'll pour it on top once they're almost ready Cover my pan and put it on fire. You have to let them boil until they are ready. And remember, we are only using coconut milk. So once your cassava is boiling well, add the roiko and some bit of food color. This is optional. But it all depends with how attractive you want your cassava to look. And I'll let it boil some more. Meanwhile, we'll prepare the ones that we will fry. So 
to once they are almost done you add uh, to it la kwanza then we'll let it simmer on very low heat okay so to have fun with the crepes you'll need a super slicer so that you can just slice them in the fire So the same oil you've used to prepare your crepes is what you will use to fry this third type. Be very careful how you place them in the oil so that you don't get burnt. Then we let them cook. How to know they are ready? They'll start turning golden brown, the edges. But you can also taste. <laughs> There's no harm in that. Always plan to put your fried food on a napkin so that it can help soak most of the remaining oil. Then too much oil is not good for your health. Then we'll go back to our cassava in coconut milk. Remember, we did not add any water at all to this cassava. You see now how it looks? See the beautiful color? And how to know that they are done? You just try and cut through with your cooking stick. Can you see? It's cut. So that confirms they are ready. Okay, so we're going to plate our cassava. Then we'll sprinkle some salt. Then for the masala, we'll put some on this bowl and add some salt. That will be used as a serving. Will be used as a serving. You can have all the different types of cassavas with the masala. Then for the crepes, crepes look beautiful on their own. So no need for a lot of mathematics. And then finally, our cassava in coconut milk. Cassava always goes best with lemon. Just add some slices of lemon. And there we have our three different types of cassava meals. So guys, you can have this as a meal, like I said. Beef stew, chicken, vegetables, with tea, with juice. It's very nice. Very, very nice. Actually, you can even mash it with beans or mbaazi. <clears throat> Who does not love crepes? I can have crepes any time of the day. And this will be good for your kids. Just dip them in the masala. And have them as a whole. Very nice. And this one's all you need to do is cut it and apply your masala. 
and then take your lemon and squeeze it then you can have it this is equally nice <laughs> So next time you happen to go to the coast, don't be worried about what they make there that looks like it's out of this world. You can just prepare them yourself and carry your snacks to the beach. Remember, one thing about this channel, we get you to prepare homemade food that is clean, healthy, fresh, and most of all, you are the one who's prepared your food. So you get to eat food that you know will definitely help your body more than harm you. And those of us who come from my home area, <laughs> you can try this out. Yeah, we only use muhogo mostly for our flour or breakfast. We boil them and prepare them for breakfast. You can add a twist to your muhogo so that it's not that boring. Anyway, this has been Rinse Chef in Rinse Kitchen. A rinse production as always thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't forget to share remember to press that bell button next to the subscribe button so that next time we upload a video you are number one to get to watch it and give us feedback on what you think about our videos till next time bye bye